YouTube world. Uh, you in there? It's a new day. Uh, I don't know what today is because uh, you don't know what day you're watching it. So, you uh, been came in today. We're here at the house again, not at the warehouse, but uh, hopefully you guys have been checking out some of my live production videos. I've been trying to kind of take you the one or two places that I've been getting out. Uh, it's been more than one or two places, but I've been trying to throw those out there so you can kind of get out with me if you haven't been getting out. But uh, anyway, I, I, I totally skipped a piece. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that that bell right there all right uh this is jason with sound design studio but let's jump straight off into this video let's not prolong it anymore today we're going to jump off into the behringer wing and hooking up pro tools the doll with it so that you can control uh pro tools with your wing and so of course you weren't able to do it before in the new update yep you finally got it all the people that have been asking about it it's finally here um i think it's probably been a couple of weeks now i've just had time to get to it uh but anyway uh we're gonna get into it and hopefully you know you guys can learn something from this and the next video will be logic and i don't know what other uh doll you guys want to learn leave it in the comments below and let me know what other doll you want to try to get into and hook up with the wing and and we'll and we'll put it up so let's jump off from the pro tools and the behringer wing console and we'll be back all right guys so your first step what you want to do is come over here to the wing console and go off into your setup menu and you want to go to your doll tab. I already have mine set up, but what you want to do is switch your connection to USB. Uh, you want to make sure that your doll is enabled and uh, you want your emulation to be Huey. And um, what I did was I just went to preset and went down to where it has a Pro Tools preset already made. Click on Pro Tools and then hit load, hit confirm, and it sets it up for you as far as your layout. All right, and after you hit the, after you do that, now let's go off into Pro Tools and set up that screen. All right, now what you do guys, um, after going into Pro Tools and uh, hopefully the wing is already an audio device. If it's not, go in the playback engine, uh, right here on playback and switch it to wing. Click OK. Um, Pro Tools will automatically shut down and restart anyway and so after you have that set up go off into setup peripherals i'm not even sure if i'm saying that word right but you saw what i clicked on right all right oh hold on, let me all right so then um you go over to midi controls so you're gonna change those uh, to uh, Huey. And then on the receive from, you're gonna go down to, on the first one, you're gonna say port one, and then send to port one. And then on the second one, you're gonna choose Huey again, port two, send to port two. Huey, port three, Send to port three, Huey. Uh, port four, send to port four. All right, so that's all you do in Pro Tools. 
and click OK. And from what I already showed you on the Behringer wing, now when we go back over here, um, we should see everything pop up. Uh, now, so since we're back from Pro Tools, now that's set up. So after we do that right over here, we want to engage and hit the dot button so that the console switch from our regular uh, audio console to the DAW control. So now when we hit this button, we see everything is set up for Pro Tools. And, and I have a, a laptop right here so you can kind of see. Um, if you look on the screen, I'm moving the faders and the faders is moving in Pro Tools. I'm pressing mute. Mute is on the laptop. All right. And so that's how you do uh, your DAW control with Pro Tools with the wing console in uh, the laptop was sponsored by Media Extreme Studios, guys. So we'll see you guys later and we'll see you on the next one. All right. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you watched the whole video and you didn't just skim through it because I need all your minutes. Uh, so if you didn't watch the whole thing, go back to the beginning and watch the whole thing again. All right. So, but appreciate you watching the video. Again, this is Jason with SoundDesignStudio.net. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell up there. All right. And tune in for the next video. I don't know when it'll be. Maybe tonight, tomorrow, next week. I don't know. Tune in. See you guys later.